Let's talk about a hot topic in the health world, Ozempic and other GLP-1 medications and their side effects. Today's video is in partnership with SoWell Health and their GLP-1 support system. I've been working with Dr. Alexander Sowa and the SoWell Health team for several years now, and I love what they're doing to make insulin resistance testing more accessible. So many people don't know they're insulin resistant and GPs are hesitant to run the necessary tests. And that's why Dr. Sowa and her team created an at-home kit that allows you to test for insulin resistance at home. When you take your sample and send your kit back, your results are physician reviewed. Within a couple of days, you receive your report, and this also outlines next steps you can take to improve your health. It's honestly incredible what they have done with this kit. But now, Sowa Health has formulated supplements that are specifically designed for people on GLP-1 medications. Supplements that can help you to reduce the side effects, and this is what we're gonna be focusing on today. Now, I just wanna make one thing clear before we begin. I don't think that these medications are a miracle solution, but they can be the right choice for some people. Like with anything, there are pros and there are cons, and you need to weigh them out. For those who have a significant amount of weight to lose, the side effects of Ozempic may actually be better than the long-term side effects of obesity. But with that being said, there are ways to minimize these side effects. And that's what we're gonna be covering in today's video. Three must-have supplements for those taking Ozempic and other GLP-1 medications. The first one is electrolytes for nausea. Nausea is one of the most common side effects that people experience when they're taking GLP-1 medications. And dehydration makes this worse. And this is why taking electrolytes is critical. Now you've probably heard me talk about electrolytes before and their importance. And this is something I always go into because a lot of us are not getting enough of them. And GLP-1 medications aside, a lot of us experience the side effects of not getting a lot of them. Nausea is one of them, but also muscle cramps, fatigue, headaches. These are especially common for people who switch to whole food diets, low carb diets. Needless to say, electrolytes are so important and especially so if you're taking Ozempic because drinking plain water is not enough to properly hydrate you. So while health electrolytes are a great option because not only do they help to rehydrate you quickly, they're also supercharged with vitamin B6, which is specifically included to target nausea. Number two is protein for muscle mass, skin, and hair. Now, protein is another critical nutrient that I talk a lot about on my channel. It is so important for everyone to be getting enough of it. And once again, most people aren't, but especially when you're losing weight, and especially with the help of medications like Ozempic, it's common to lose not just fat, but also muscle mass. And many people struggle with thinning hair and skin elasticity. In fact, a large percentage of the weight that people lose when they're taking Ozempic is actually muscle. And this isn't the type of weight you want to lose. We want to retain muscle. It is so important for overall health. It's so important for longevity. And also more muscle mass makes us look better. So well health protein is formulated specifically to combat this. It includes both whey protein isolate, which is extremely bioavailable, and collagen protein. The whey protein helps to maintain muscle mass, while collagen supports your hair, skin, and joints, helping you to look and feel your best as you lose weight. And number three is fiber for proper digestion. Now this is one of the lesser discussed side effects of GLP-1 medications, and that's constipation. And this occurs because these medications slow down the digestive process and sometimes can slow it down a little bit too much. Now, fiber isn't technically an essential nutrient. I do find that a lot of my clients do better on a lower fiber or even a no fiber diet. But when it comes to Ozempic and other similar medications, fiber has been shown to improve digestion. And I like SoWell Health's fiber supplement because it's enhanced with magnesium and probiotics. These help to improve long-term gut health and can help with the side effect of constipation. If you are struggling with any of these side effects taking Ozempic, or maybe you're just about to get started and you're a little bit wary about the side effects, I can't recommend SoWell Health's GLP-1 support system enough. It includes all three of these supplements, and like I said, they're specifically formulated by physicians who truly understand metabolic health. Dr. Sowa and her team really know what they're talking about. And you can buy all three supplements as a bundle or individually, depending on your needs. 
To check them out, you can head to healthcoachkate.com forward slash support system. I'll put that link in the description box down below as well. And you can use code Kate 10 to save 10% off your order. Now, before we wrap up, I just want to make it very clear that these medications, again, they're not a miracle solution. Diet and lifestyle changes are ultimately what's gonna matter and what's gonna lead to long lasting and sustainable results. No medication on its own is going to permanently fix your health conditions. You really need to make sure whether you're taking Ozempic or not, that your diet, lifestyle, your sleep are all in check. If you can do this, if you can build these healthy habits, if you can get into a sustainable routine, then your results are going to be long lasting. But if you are currently on Ozempic, then SoWell Health's GLP-1 support system can help you to fight the side effects. Now I wanna hear from you guys and your experience with Ozempic or other similar medications. Are you currently on them? Are you progressing towards your goals? Are you losing the weight that you want? Have you experienced any of these side effects? Let me know down below. I really wanna hear your experience. Thank you for watching. I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.